Legislation signed by Florida's governor seeks to block websites from making money off official mugshots. As Mike Besselinda tells us, the legislation seeks to stop companies from profiting when bad things happen. Blake Mathisi was bartending at a Gainesville bar in the wee hours of a September 2018 morning. When a fight broke out, he hopped the bar to break it up. Then two weeks later... About four or five police cars showed up to my house and... Uh, and they said you're being arrested for a felony battery. Months later, a judge in a nine-page ruling found Blake had done nothing wrong. My mugshot was now online forever. Efforts to get it down went nowhere. I've had it brought up in a job interview before. You know, it's like the elephant in the room. In 2017, Florida made it illegal for a website to hold a mugshot hostage by requiring payment for its removal. Then the website switched to an ad-based business model. New legislation signed by the governor now allows people to make a written request to have a mugshot removed. Senator Aaron Bean is the sponsor. This bill kind of closes a loophole. It says you can't be a, uh, a for-profit website uh, generating ad revenue for the sole purpose of, of, uh, of embarrassing people. But Bean adds. This is not going to 100% solve the problem. These are bad guys. Their websites are offshore. So the fight's not over for Blake, who will enter his final year of law school at FSU this fall. If we can make these bots that these sites use non-operable, well, then we'll win. And so the way to do that is to not have these uh, sheriff's agencies automatically post them online. The legislation carries a thousand dollar a day fine for not removing a mug shot. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. The legislation takes effect October 1st. It requires a written request to be sent to the website by registered mail. The site then has 10 days to respond or start the clock running on thousand dollar a day fines.